Hi guys, just going to make a catapult launch helicopter inspired by a design by Powerhouse Paper Airplanes Rogers. I just scribbled his name on this envelope so I could remember it because it's quite a long name to remember. Uh, he made his from folded paper that he then covered with tape. I'm going to try using one of these wine, cardboard wine boxes and not cover it in tape. Uh, I expect covering it in tape gives it a bit of rigidity and also protects it from the damp if it lands on um, wet grass or something like that. But I'm just going to make this as simple as I can. You may not even recognise it as being a helicopter, but the idea is when you flick it up in the air, when it comes down again, it spins. A bit like one of those um, maple seeds, I think people call them. All the way through. I didn't. It's better. That's it. Almost job done. We do need a hook in it to hook the rubber band onto. And obviously, if we covered it in tape, it would make it quite a bit more rigid. There will be an optimum position for the hook for the rubber bands go on as well. I'm just going to guess it. Um, right, at the moment, for those people who want dimensions, this is uh, 185 millimetres long on the straight edge. 180 by 45. see that 180 by 45 that isn't the dimensions he used I've just got that bit of cardboard so that's what I'm doing it with and I'm gonna guess I'm gonna put the hook 60 so I'm just gonna cut a hook in there That's where our rubber band's going to hook in. Now, the little trick I'm going to try is super glue or crazy glue or CA glue. I'll put it all along the edge, including up into there. Because when that sets, dries, whatever you want to call it, it makes it quite rigid. Because when you're slopping it on like this, it does run a bit. You don't really don't want to stick your fingers together I'll 
have to do a second video, or not second video, a second shooting session, video session, because it's about nine o'clock at night now, so it's getting dark outside. I'm just going to leave that to dry. And then I'll put it in the back of the car and hopefully we'll be able to take it out somewhere and test it, see if it works. As simple as that. So rubber band hooks on there. I don't know if I've got any handy. I'm trying not to stick my fingers together. Just lay that on there for a minute. That might do the job. Yeah, just some random rubber bands that I've got. You can do that with super glue. Just don't put your fingers together once you've done it. You've got to let it dry on your fingers. Right. Uh, yeah, that's it. We'll have a look tomorrow in daylight and see if it actually flies. Right, grassy area. We'll see what happens when we try and launch this. I'll put my hat camera on. Well, it did spin on the way down. Didn't get as much height as I was hoping for. Oh gosh, now I've lost sight of it. <laughs> oh dear. Well, it does spin, but I was expecting it to flatten out a bit more. I expect it needs a bit more weight on the front. Um, yeah, I was expecting it to flatten out more on its spin. It probably needs more nose weight. Probably. That's more like it. Right. So that's what it is. It needs a good bit of nose weight. might see, seem to be counterintuitive, but that's it, nose weight, because the one that, um, I can't remember his full name, Rogers did, he, he put tape on it and he put a lot of extra tape folded over on this end, so that did make it heavier. There we go, look at that. Took a while to flick into it, but it did it. Good height. Oh, straight down again that time. It's obviously a trick to it. Better, 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 much better. A good height. Oh, straight down again. Oh, 50-50. That broken nose might be a problem. There we go, we got it perfect. Where's it going to land? Oh. 
lucky. So, one last go for luck. So what I've done is I've flattened that a little bit. It's got a bit of a curve in it and I've flattened it off. Well, I would say that was a complete success once I'd sorted out the balance. So it needs to be a bit nose heavy. Well, it probably needs to be balanced so it's more or less in the middle somewhere, centre of gravity. I suppose I ought to measure it, but... Yeah. There they are, more or less in the more or less in the middle. So then when it's coming down it flattens out and spins round. Yeah. Nice one Mr. Rogers. Links in the video description. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, and check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel and down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.